guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, um, yeah, let's try something different. Right, so um, I've got my nail on. I've attached it with the titanium builder gel in clear and I've used the full cover tip in ballerina and this is the long one. Um, I've fired it up and then just on the tip, I've just given it a little bit of a buff just because I don't want, I don't want the filing lines to be visible when we top coat it. I want this bottom section to be super see-through. Um, so around here somewhere, I'm just going to draw a love heart just as a rough guide. I'm just drawing this in pencil. You could use gel or whatnot. Um, right. <laughs> I've got a super stabby e-file bit that I never use. This never gets used until today. Right, I'm going to come through this at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to go in the top section of that heart first. Try and keep it in the same spot. Apply some pressure and it will just pop through. Turn that into a hole like that. Right, same again. Next to it. Just try and keep it steady. It does like to wiggle around. Keep it steady. And then that pops through again. Right, so I'm going to come down and slowly connect these two circles because we want to make that heart shape. So you want to keep that dip. Nice and carefully with this. Because obviously if you mess up, you got to take the tip off and go again. And we don't want to do that. Right, so top of that is looking really good. Now we just need to work on this bottom section. Right, so obviously don't make your heart too big, otherwise you're going to weaken the structure of the tip. Okay, and there you go. there you go. And you'll, I mean, you're going to struggle to get it into a very, very fine point, the love heart anyway, but we can get it as close as possible. Try and keep your um, e-file at 90 degrees the entire time as well. Right, flip that over for me. I'm just going to tidy up the bottom of that. Right, so the left side of my heart is definitely bigger than the right side, so I'm just going to come and make that bigger. Okay. Right. You got a hole in your nail, Sam. Oh, the last time I had a hole in my nail was in the 90s when I had I know, them. we're kicking it old school. When I used to have them pierced with... Um... Well, that, that was the original plan. Um, I was going to pierce a nail for you. Just tripping, tripping, trimming away those little fluffy bits of... Upside down. Fluffy bits of acrylic. Because obviously we don't want the gel polish or anything sticking to that. Keep it off. Ow! What, what are we having now? What did I do? It felt like it was pulling oh. up on my nail. 
Let's feel a little bit. Excellent. Right, how are we looking? Fabulous. Okay, so I am going to, where's my black artisan paint? There it is. A little bit of black artisan paint. Let's use my 8mm liner. Right, so I'm going to now draw around this heart. That way I can get a nice crisp outline even if your drilled heart isn't perfect you can then create the illusion of a perfect heart with your black A little bit further up here, I'm going to draw just a, a filled in black heart. Similar sort of size, don't worry if it's not a perfect match. And then another one a little bit further up. Uh, you could do any shape, I guess, with these. Hearts are generally probably the easiest shape to do when, when you're drilling a hole, other than an actual circle. Um, stars would look awesome, but trying to file a, a star out of a nail, yeah, good luck with that. If anybody attempts it, send me a picture. Uh, right, so when you're done with that, pop that in the lamp for a full cure, please, Sam. So, I mean, if you're going to do a full set of these, I wouldn't necessarily drill a hole in every single nail. Maybe just one or two on each hand. Maybe just one or two. Um, okay. Um, and they're going to be using Hocus Pocus. So, Hocus Pocus is your ever so subtle glittery polish. Look at that. So, I'm going to cover this nail top to bottom and just be mindful that when you go over that hole it's going to flood so I'm just going to use my 8mm liner brush just to get in there and clean that out and then some little dinky crystals let's go for size 6 as I'm literally going to get two teeny tiny crystals and I'm going to put one smack bang in the heart of that one, smack bang in the heart, smack bang in the middle of the heart, smack bang in the middle of the heart there. These are the, by the way, uh, the Crystal Clear ABs. Um, so they were the proper dinky ones and then literally just, just a couple of my crystal picker ups, not very. I'm going to add just a couple more, just in some of that negative space. If I can get the crystals the right way up. No, I can't. <sighs> Maybe one more. Right on the end, or kind of floating, or shall we do two? Let's do. Two on there. Always room for more crystals. Oh no, I dropped it. That's going to have to come off because it'll be covered in top coat. I can never pick crystals up the right way. I always get the bottom of them. Oh my god, get on. Fabulous. Right, so Hocus Pocus is a top coat, so I can literally press those into there and set it into position. I'm actually happy with that. Pop that in the lamp, please, Sam. And I'm going to be using the Banana Elixir Oil. It's my favourite one. 
squeeze it out, squeeze it all out. There we go. Very small drop on the seat. I squeezed it all out and there was still all of that in there. But there we go. So this in the sunlight, that Hocus Pocus is insanely sparkly. And yeah, let's see what you catch that on over the next few weeks. <laughs> oh, fab. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below and more importantly make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today you can find on our website which is nelkme.co.uk and I will see you in the next video.